Morning all, and what a gorgeous morning it is. Now, for those of you who followed me for a while, you'll know I'm always messing about with camera systems on board my motorbikes. I'm also in constant search of the holy grail of motor vlogging setups, but this time I might have just found it. Jump on board and find out. Welcome back everybody. And uh, just before I do start talking about cameras, I'll just let you know that uh, you may remember I did a track day last year on this very bike. Um, there was a chap there who uh, set up everybody's suspension. Now I kept the suspension uh, like that which he, he did on the day because I absolutely loved the setup and I really enjoyed getting the instant feedback from the road. But uh, this morning I've just softened it up because uh, of where I live the roads really aren't conducive uh, to a, a stiff suspension and I've sort of come to accept that neither is my body really so so whilst I'm just uh, potter, pottering around on roads like this uh, I've softened up the suspension and I can feel a huge difference already it's a much more enjoyable and relaxed riding position okay moving on uh, to the camera talk Hooray! Fanfare, drum rolls. I might have just found the uh, the best motor vlogging setup that I've come across so far. Um, I, I should start by saying I'm using the new Insta One RS camera, and if you go through my videos, uh, you'll see very recently I reviewed this camera in great detail. So I won't go into doing another uh, technical review of such. Uh, with the camera but I'll tell you exactly what I have on board and why I'm using it and uh, just so you're not trying to uh, pause the video and uh, you zoom in and look at exactly what sort of setup I have I'll overlay this video with photographs of uh, the stuff that I'm talking about so back to the Insta One RS camera that is the the, the, the brain of the operation, if you like. So uh, I, I got the twin module, so it also comes with a 360 lens. So if you didn't already have a 360 camera, um, you can just uh, hot swap the module on the uh, side of the camera, which is great, and it'll also save you a lot of money. The camera is absolutely rock solid. It's a beautiful 4K, camera which works it doesn't crash it doesn't freeze it doesn't overheat and so far it's just building my confidence every time I go out with it in terms of not worrying whether I'm gonna have footage at the end of the day when I get home which was always the case with GoPro because more often than not I would get home and the files would be corrupted where the camera had crashed hit a record and whatever else it was just I lost too many reviews and I, I lost too much time basically using that camera so goodbye GoPro it's gone um, so uh, the sound as you can hear um, I've gone back to using my tram TR50 microphone um, also you may have seen recently I did a review on a new microphone I was using which was the Rode Lavalier Go 2 fabulous microphone very affordable um, but in certain situations um, well, mainly at speed, I'll be honest with you. Uh, some of the sound was distorting, so it's a very hot microphone. Um, uh, so so it's, it's always seemed as though it was on the verge of distorting. However, straight out the box, it, it's brilliant, and for the money, uh, it's bang on. Um, what you can do on this camera, it has an audio input gain setting. So even though I was dialing down the gain on the Rode Lavalier Go 2, um, and especially when I had the visor open um, using my other adventure style helmet there's a couple of times it distorted with all the wind noise um, so I've gone back to the trusty old Tram TR50 which is what you're listening to now um, that is fed into the little audio module which you can buy from Insta for about 20 quid or something like that uh, and uh, there's an audio meter on the back of the screen which I can actually see as I'm riding along so I know I'm getting picture I know I'm in record and I also know I'm getting audio what about that can you imagine whoever came up with that idea <laughs> so I'm delighted um, my only uh, one little drawback about this camera is that it's not quite wide enough when you're on a sports bike like this because you're leaning forward so as you can see I'm really only clipping the top of the uh, dashboard within the shot I would have liked um, to have seen my hands within the shot on the uh, on the bars you know 
and with the GoPro on Superview you can get that but like I say the trade-off is that I'm guaranteed pictures on my SD card at the end of the day however saying all of that there is another module you can buy for this camera because it is modular after all uh, it's called the one inch module so the field of view on this lens which is called the 4k boost lens is 16 mil and on the one inch module it's 14.4 mil so uh, when i get a bit more spare cash i shall purchase one of them um, and uh, see if i can indeed bring in the handlebars into the shot and a bit more of the vista um, so you might be looking at this contraption next this is a dango design a gripper mount i bought it on amazon the only thing I don't like about it is the price, it's £50 sterling, so not cheap, especially for a bit of plastic. But uh, just as the title suggests, a grip and mount, it does just that, it's a really solid and secure grip. Um, the reason I've bought this is that I can hot swap between helmets. So depending on what bike I'm on, depending on what, what style of riding, um, you know, whether I want to flip up the, uh, the, the front of the helmet on the other helmet, uh, I don't have to worry about then rewiring the whole system and microphones and everything uh, on the helmet if I just want to get out straight away. So I literally take this whole module off. Um, as you can see, obviously the camera is attached to it, but I've also got the microphone, the tram mic, as I said, um, attached on the inside of it. It's literally just stuck on the inside uh, with a bit of double-sided um, uh, sticky tape. Uh, but it does have the foam windshield around it and also that dead cat the black uh, furry fluffy thing like i said i'll show you photographs uh, so you know exactly what i'm rambling on about but uh, but it's really effective this uh, I, I just love the fact that and indeed if it, even if i wanted to go out on a motorbike uh, and not motor vlog i can just clip the thing off within seconds and be done with it um, so so far uh, really really happy with this um, I'm always rambling on about reducing the amount of cameras I take out. Indeed, I don't know if you're following that uh, mountain pass series I'm doing at the moment. Like, I'm taking five cameras, including the drone, away with me on each and every one of those. What a... And uh, I know something like that needs all those different cameras and angles, and I sort of don't mind, but I'm just trying to pare back. What I have realised is that even with... The, uh, uh, this camera, the One RS, I thought maybe if I got one of those, it would be the only camera that I take out. Now, uh, since I have the One X2, God, there's so many names to remember, isn't there? <laughs> I'm doing well so far. Um, so, so since I have the One X2, I'm just going to carry on using that because quite often I like to re record two cameras at the same time obviously so I can cut between the two within the same situation uh, certainly if there's a point of interest that I'm passing or talking about I don't then want to have to slip this camera onto the handlebar mount stick the 360 lens on just for the sake of only carrying one camera so if I didn't have that I'd probably uh, do that but uh, since I'm fortunate enough to, to have that one as well, uh, I'll just carry on using the two. But isn't it great? I've whittled five cameras down to two. Whatever will he come up with next? I'm very happy with the sound, very happy with the picture quality. Basically, I'm just very happy. <laughs> and in case you're wondering what this uh, unsightly bit is hanging off the side of the camera, it's just a couple of uh, jack plugs because the actual jack plug on my microphone lead uh, just sticks up too much into my vision uh, that's the the, the 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 only thing about the mic adapter i don't know why they didn't put the input on the underneath so the jack plug would be under there rather than sticking out the top so i've just got a couple of right hand uh, right angled jacks rather again which i bought off amazon i think i got 10 for two quid or something like that <laughs> um, and it's just to uh, what well, it does tuck in behind the camera so it just uh, it keeps that jack plug out of my field of vision one of the other slight drawbacks about this camera, well I'm saying slight, it's actually a big one to be honest because there's a few times I've been riding past something and I've just wanted to react straight away to it in terms of talking about it. But when you hit the, the button to start recording, it takes eight seconds to actually get it into record, uh, by which time of course I've ridden past what I wanted to talk about. 
and I'm not a motor vlogger who likes to keep the cameras running constantly because I just haven't got time at the end of the day to go through all of the footage looking for bits and pieces I've said you know so I'll literally only switch the camera on when I've got something to say so I'm hoping that'll be addressed in a future firmware update the other thing I love about this camera though is that when your battery dies or if you want to move the camera from this mount onto a, 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 a sort of another mount you might have on the frame you don't need to undo everything and put the logs in and slide everything off you literally just open the cage here and slide the camera out and you can leave everything including all of the mounting system here intact so the camera is not connected as such uh, with nuts and bolts underneath like the GoPro uh, this literally just slides out of the frame so what I'm gonna do is uh, to buy a couple of more a couple more rather uh, frames uh, just empty frames and have them on the bikes just so I can hot swap um, yeah, just by sliding the camera out like I say so I love that particular feature great design again from insta360 they really are coming up trumps as i said in my uh, review of this camera as well i think this is their best camera to date picture quality as you can see is, uh, is superb now i am shooting in 4k 25 frames per second 16 by 9 uh, one other thing which might even be out by the time this review hits youtube is that they're releasing an ND filter which will just bring everything to life that bit more especially on a sunny day um, so I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that so I think folks that's pretty much everything I have to say about uh, about my latest mode of vlog and setup tune in next week I have no doubt I'll have another one <laughs> another setup I mean no no I'm only joking um, but uh, but as you all know I'm a little bit infatuated by uh, the camera setup on my motorbikes well hey that's what I do for a living so of course I am I'm, I'm always looking for the best possible camera and sound at the same time whilst trying to reduce my workflow you know what I'm talking about all you other motor vloggers out there um, or even just hobbyists who go out and film your motorcycle rides you know exactly what I'm talking about and I definitely don't uh, want to be leaving the camera running to wait through hours and hours of footage. Um, okay, thanks once again. Have a great weekend, everybody. Any questions about this motor vlog and setup, by the way, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll always do my best to try and get back to each and every one of you. Uh, but thanks anyway for coming along for the spin. Always great to have somebody to talk to. You know the drill. Dave Perry, really good TV. Over and out.